Well, hello again, everyone. Can you believe it? 23, day 23. We're nearly there. It's ne nearly Christmas. Can you believe it? Goodness gracious me. Um, haven't we had some fun? I really think, you know, these, th these this Christmas um, calendar is the best. Just the best. I can't believe it. Um, someone on a comment, um, you know, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name offhand, but they said to me, <laughs> you know what I'm like for losing little bits. They said, couldn't you have a little dish or a little container of some description to put your tiny die cuts in? Well, I could. In fact, I often use a little pot. Um, I use one of these little things. It had little nibbles in. Um, if I am die cutting a lot of little things, say like a lot of little hearts or snowflakes, or I often do that and put them in one of these things so I can keep them safe from <laughs> going astray. But I'd never thought to do it for um, just the odd ones or, or two that I was doing for a particular card. And the trouble with this part is that it's kind of difficult to get an individual die cut out because of the shape of it. And so when this lady commented, I thought, do you know, I have got a little dish. It's probably just the right size. It's just the right shape to put a couple of little die cuts and I can easily just slide them out. This dear little dish I bought in Africa. We went on a cruise from um, Singapore to Cape Town. Um, and from there, we flew up to um, Victoria Falls. And this little pot was bought somewhere, I'm not quite sure, around the Victoria Falls. But I love it. I've got a hippo and he's normally sitting drinking from it, it looks like. But that's what I'm going to try and remember to use to put my tiddly die cuts in. So thank you, whomever that was. I, I will look up the name. I have thanked the lady on, on the... Um, on, on the comments but anyway let's have a look and see what we've got in number 23 nearly christmas oh my lord this year we're spending it at my son's and my daughter and her kids are coming as well so it's going to be a good old family what have we got here well i can identify with that there's a, co there's a cocktail and a bag whatever and what's this Perfume? No. It's suntan. It's got a little sun on there. It's suntan lotion. Oh, 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 look at this. My goodness me, this is going to be me in a couple of weeks. Going to Lanzarote for a break. Look at this. Suntan in my bag. Cocktail by my side. What, <laughs> what more could I ask for? My goodness me. Let's cut them out and see what they look like. Oh my goodness. They help. Look at the size of that thing. Tiny. These are centimetre squares on here. Oh my lord. This will have to go onto the magnet, won't it? God, look at that. So tiny. But for my kind of cards, these are the kind of little detail dies that are just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's have a look. Put the dies up there for a minute on the magnet. And we'll get out there. There we go. Okay, we've got a drink, a bag and some suntan cream. That's got to go in there, hasn't it? This is me. This is me on my holidays, I have to say. I cruise up to the, um, up to the sun deck or on my balcony and cocktails. <laughs> There'd be a book in there as well, or my Kindle anyway. Um, what am I going to do? What am I going to do with them? Um, oh, I think my husband's just come back from swimming. I can just hear the stairs creaking. Perhaps he'll come in and say good morning again. Um, right. Um... I'm just going to, let's put these in there for a minute, in my little dish. Can you see my little dish? Yes, you can. Oh, we're a bit far away, aren't we? Let me just, 
come in a little bit. I really ought to keep an eye on this. Right, um, let me just cut this down a minute. Just want to square because what I've got in my head is a vision of like a, a sunsetty thing, and these things are kind of in silhouette. Do you know what I mean? In front of this, let me just try it. Let me just try it. I, I, I don't know what I mean really, but we'll, we'll just see. There's my little pieces in my little dish, perfect. You can see. Right, let's get some colours for a sunset. Where shall we start? I think we'll start with scattered straw. Scattered straw. So over here in the stand that fell down the other day. And uh, coming down, what should we have? Down. Um, Dried marigold, I think. Where's dried marigold? There it is. Oh, this way we're coming down, aren't we? Dried marigold. Um, carved pumpkin. Let's try that next. And crackling campfire. That's here. And what do we want down here? Five. Fired brick, I think. Right. That's my idea. Can you see the, the where I'm going with this? Coming down. So I want to put those, where's the grain? Um, in sort of lines across here to make a a diffused kind of sunset. Let me just, this is a bit of glue, I just want to keep this on the on the mat. So I've just put a bit of uh, glue stick. And my first one is the scattered straw. So let's just put that. I'm doing it direct to the card so that I can get a fair amount of colour. Now, I don't want this one. I don't want the um, pad to get contaminated with the previous colour. So what I'm going to do is find a bit of scrap. Oh, there's a bit of scrap in there. This is your ticket to the London Eye. Oh, my word. The printer decided to print several for my daughter. Right, let's just have a bit of scrap. And I'm going to... Um, I'll put a bit of glue down there as well, just to, just to hold it still. Right, I'm now going to do the, the next bit of colour. That'll do. And the next one. A bit darker. I don't want it absolutely, you know, level. Crackling campfire. Right. This might turn out dreadfully, but it's what I'm kind of thinking at the minute. But we'll see. We'll see. Bit of fried brick. These um these things have such a lot of colours in them um, that um, often you you know it's it's surprising what colours emerge when you. When you wet them, I'm just going to spritz them a minute. Fair bit of water. Let's pick it up. Oh, 
Ajá. Uh, qué okay, nice. Just dump it, take a bit of that off the edge. This is toilet paper. I couldn't find my my kitchen towel. Bit of toilet paper. From when I did toilet paper prints. Right. I'll want to clean that up and dry that off. Okay. That's just me not going back that way. I love to watch the reaction of the inks. There we go. Right, let me just mop this little lot up. Sailing away into the sunset. We're not going on a cruise this time, actually. Right, throw that out. Just going to dry this little panel off a little bit. looks a little uninteresting to me so um i'm thinking distress glaze maybe or maybe a spritz of mica or something or other let me Distress, distress glaze. The only thing is about distress glaze. If I put some of that on, it's kind of waxy. So when I come to try and stick on things like die cuts, they might not stick very well. So let's just try a bit. Distress glaze. I'm not absolutely sure what you're supposed to do with this. What I do is just kind of Rub it on and rub it off, if you know what I mean. It just gives a little shine. Whereas the, the surface previously was just kind of dull, really. It has livened it up a bit, hasn't it? Can you see? I don't know if that's what, you, what the, the whole idea is. I saw it and thought... I need to have some of that. No, I still don't know where my, paper, my kitchen roll is. I know what I've done with it. I have to use toilet paper for the minute. That's livened it up, isn't it? But this, as I said, the trouble is, I don't know if I can things to it now so um, my thoughts are I still might squirt it with a bit of something um, if I were to put a frame around it then I could stick my little doodads just onto the frame which would be almost like a window looking into the sunset wouldn't it Perhaps I should have done a bit more yellow in the middle rather than just straight like well we'll talk about that later let me let me do some black uh, 
go a bit black here. Let me do some black um, little die cuts just to see if the silhouette version looks reasonable. Let's cut these out. Oops, it easy. Dies up there. Okay. Let me stick these to these. Look at the umbrella and everything. Oh, my, my, my kind of dies, these are, I have to say. Um, where's my glue? There it is. They've all got little, I don't suppose you can see this, but. Um, they've got little embossed marks in just to give that bit a bit more interest. So if you do head over to um, Instagram afterwards, you can. I always try and put my finished cards on there so that you can have a, a little look up close. Um, someone said if you don't have an Instagram account, you can't see them. But I think if you've got a Facebook account, you can kind of sign in with Facebook. Um, let's do the suntan lotion, vital element. I wondered what it was when I first saw it. I thought, what's a little bottle doing there? But it's obviously suntan lotion. It's got a little sun on it. There we go. This, this glue... It's not so um, kind of tacky as the, um, look at me, I'm putting it in pots, take note. Um, not so tacky as the Nouveau. The Nouveau I got myself in a real pickle with. It is very, very tacky. See, this handle could lift up a little bit somehow. I, I have to have a think about that. I can't think what you could do with it, but... The fact, can you see it? It's kind of like this. I guess you could cut that out if you wanted to do it with them, um, not in a silhouette. You could cut that out and put a different coloured handle on. Just snip, snip and snip and snip and just inlay a different colour. They are fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Just love them. I was told about this, um, this company by a, a friend call her a friend, never met her, but she feels like a friend called Margit, who lives in um, in Austria. And uh, only through the Clean and Simple card making group. And she told me about this, this, this particular company and, um, and the, another couple, actually. I just love them. I'm going to put that in the back of there. I'm going to put a bit of... Um, bit of adhesive on the back there just to grab this bottle before I lose it. There's my bottle of suntan lotion. Now, because I don't think this is going to stick on here, I'm just wondering if I can do something else with that. I'm going to get a frame. Uh, where's my frames? Oh dear. Let me put these away for a minute. I'll just stack them up out of the way because it take too long to find their alphabetical place in a rush. Right. Um, frames, frames, frames. Watch. Just look what I'm doing. I'm not losing my dies. There we go. Right. Now, frames. Let me see. This is all my stitched and pierced dies in this box. Those frames are a bit narrow, I think. What about this one? This is a frame. I can't, can't remember the make of this. I very often just put initials or something on, on the back with the Sharpie, but I've obviously forgotten to do this. I don't know what they are. Is it? Does that fit? Just about, I think. If you find a piece of, a piece of card, I can cut that from. Um... A bit. I keep all my offcuts from card bases and they come in handy for 
all sorts of things. It's, this is something like Pink Fresh or something, I think. Look at that, it's just about the same. That's just, whatever I did this from is just an offcut. So um, let's do another one, a little bit of, little bit of depth. I've noticed a lot of people do stacking of dies now. It does make a difference. It just accentuates your die cut just a little bit. And sometimes if they're very fine, it's a way of building up um, dimension without having to use foam tape, because foam tape on... Now, just let me see. Where's the card? Oh, here's the card base. Is this the Sky's card I'm thinking of? So easy to get out of my little pot, you see. Um, prefer them at the bottom. This <laughs> Oh dear, what oh, a great one for sticking them on the wrong way. That needs something. That needs something, and I don't know quite what. How about... Um, uh, now, let me think. I'm thinking a sun. A, a part of it, like half a sun, as if it's gone down behind the the edge of that sea. Uh, it might not work, it might be awful. Sizzix, I think it's in this, this Sizzix box here. Let's have a look. Um, got a tiny little flower one that I use for the sun. This one I'm thinking of. Let me just cut one. I don't know about that, even if it was coloured. I don't know if I care for that, really. I think it's a bit of a distraction. Um, not sure what to do. I'm not really happy with this back thing much. Um, I'll just try one more thing. If I don't like it, we'll just go with it as is. I'm going to try and make a bit of um, a bit of a spray, a bit of a mica spray. So I've got some um, just sent for a load of these. Have I got any already done? Let me see. That looks like bleach or something. Um, what have I got? That didn't look any good. These sort of pens are really... <sighs> They're all... I think I need a, they need a bit of a wash. I'll get a new one. Get a new one. And... Uh, this one hasn't got its top on. It's in there somewhere. I got these really cheaply in... Um, I think it's Amazon or eBay or somewhere. I can't remember. But um, I got the, oops, the last lot from um, a craft fair and they were just almost throwing them at you. They were so cheap. Just put that on the top for a minute while I put this back. Now, what I propose to put in here is a little bit of, um, a bit of 
like pigment powder with mica in it. So let's have a look. Just let me have a look here. That's what's that called? Rapunzel. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. That's my rusty bucket. Um, I ought to have these lying down so I can see what the colour is. I know what's that one? Penny Dreadful. I think I'll go with this light one. Put it easy. Just to give a bit of twinkle to that. I want to keep clear of everything. Um, where's my little spatula thingy? Supposed to be for colouring pan pastels, but I use it as. Uh, oh, this one. This is supposed to be a, an embosser, but that'll do. Anything to get the colour, the, the powder, into the bottle. That's the wrong end. Don't know how much I need. I'm no clue. Let's just see. Okay. Put the lid on that. This is indigo blue, by the way. You've seen me use um, indigo blue stuff before, I suspect. My spraying box uh, just to protect things a little and just see what happens. Oh, that's quite nice. Oh, I like it. Wow, look at that. You can see that? Whoa, isn't that nice? Now that's going to be wet, isn't it? What am I going to do with that? Uh, right, let me just see. I, I'm, I'm going to be happy with those, I think. I'm going to join these two together, stick those two things on the front because I don't think they'll stick to that. Um, and then we'll warp it onto the card. I have to say, I have been just warmed so much by all the wonderful, wonderful comments people have left. Um, are so kind saying how much they've enjoyed my <laughs> my ramblings, my mistakes, the fact that I make mistakes just like anybody else. It's inevitable. We all do. Change our minds, do this, that and the other. So, and all those people who've bought me a coffee, I am so grateful. Thank you so much. And, you know, since the, um, a lady called Debbie, I think, mentioned to me about buy me a coffee, um, since I've added it to my videos as a link for people to get for me if they like, every time I sit down with a coffee, I kind of, I my mind just goes and I think of these lovely, lovely crafters who've, who've done such lovely things to buy me a coffee because they've enjoyed my videos. Look at that! Whoa! I didn't know what that was going to turn out like, but it's amazing, isn't it? Now, the back of this, I think I better put, because that's going to be iffy to join to, I'm going to use my tape runner because uh, this is a the kind of adhesive that grabs to all kinds of stuff. I love this thing. I bought myself another one. This one is, um, I've had it for years. It's got an adapter thing in, which means I can use narrow tape or wider. I bought a pink one. <laughs> I fancied a pink one. I don't know why I fancied a pink one. But I bought a pink one, but I think that's just the narrower tape. But um, they are great. Right, let's get this on here. What an interesting effect. And do you know what? That is not. Oops, and I've got a bit of thing on there. That's not even sticking to that. So, what I need to do is cut this down a little bit so that um, a bit of this would be exposed and can be stuck to the card front. 
and I can stick this to the card front by some adhesive on the back and I can get another piece and cover over the top because I've got a dirty finger mark on there. So after all that, I'll cut this down just a tad in both directions. Still a bit damp, actually. It's probably one reason why it's it's not um, Let's have a look. I think that might do. Yep, I think that might do. Let me just clean myself up a minute. I've even been boasting about this. I don't know what I've done with that. <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh my Lord. hilarious oh dear me what's happened anybody know what's happened to the handbag and the suntan lotion has that gone the way of all flesh oh gosh sounds as well oh i mean well honestly i do mean well what's happened to it i had it on there didn't i is it stuck to this <laughs> It's hilarious, isn't it? Oh dear. Let's do it again. Oh Lord. We'll have a white one and a black one. Oh, crumbs. Oops. That's all the rest of those pens just fell out on the floor. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I don't get better for keeping. Right, here's the white one. Where's the black one? Here's the black paper. There's a black one. Oh dear, do as I say, not as I do. Gosh. There we are. Okay. There's the black one of those. And we need a white bottle and a black bottle, don't we? Put that back quickly. just need to get into the habit don't I now I've got my little pot get into the habit of putting things into there every time every time I every time I use something oh gosh now oh, I need a black one of these don't I okay where'd it go there it is there it is right Black one. Right. Pen. I do like the effect of that spray, but it looks like it's going to take forever to dry. I'm afraid. What happened to it? Did anybody see where people people tell me where things go, you know, they spot it. They've got such sharp eyes. Brilliant. I mean, often I can see where they go when, when I look back at the video, but at the time I'm doing something else, I haven't got a clue. Not a clue where things disappear to. Right. Now then, give my fingers a wipe. I'll cut another frame. Oh, I've got a cloth here. Just don't know what's happened to my kitchen towel. I should get it all ready before I start, shouldn't I? Put those in there for a moment. Um, where was the wider piece? Did I put it back? Yes, it's here. Let's cut another, another frame, because I've got a dirty mark on that one. Okay. Right. Now, I haven't actually thought about um, sentiment. Um, what am I going to do for a sentiment for this card? I'll put some glue on the front of this one. Try and keep, keep it clean. I 
finish up with a frame about the goodness of what thickness if I keep getting dirty marks on it. Okay. Because I'm sticking to the back of it now as well. Okay. I don't know if that's still wet, you see. Perhaps I'll put my heat tool on it for a minute. Let's just see. Now, I have to say, I don't think I can probably assemble this um, at the minute because that is still kind of wet and I think it's going to take a while to dry. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to place it on my card front. I'm going to look for a sentiment, see if I can do one. And then, so you can kind of just see. And then when it's all dry, I can assemble it. So here's my card base. That is not sticking terribly well. I'll do that in a minute. So what I'm going to do is this. I, I will have that like that, that like that, these like this. I don't want to mess it up too much because I, I have to do another base then if I get in a real pickle. Let me just put the suntan lotion into the bag. There we go. Which way around did I have it? that way round and then a sentiment underneath now the one I used the other day was um, out of this box clearly besotted they do lots of that was the one I used remember have a have a delightful day and they've got se several sort of specific there's the one I used for the um, the rain and shine one. And what have we got here? Have a fabulous day. That would do, wouldn't it? Have a fabulous day. Anything else in here? Hope your day is as sweet as you are. Heartfelt thanks. Um, fabulous friend. Belate it. Feel better. I don't think it's feel better. Just because I'm, st I'm still thinking, have a fabulous day. Let's just do this one. Let's just be here all day, otherwise. Right. Have a fabulous day. Right. So, have a fabulous day. This is from a set called Just Fabulous. Just Fabulous. So, let's just do this. Um, I noticed when I said yesterday or the other day, people couldn't see the bottom of my, yes, you can see now. This is a Vazen um, stamping platform and I got it because it doesn't have a frame all the way around that, like a well that you sit things in. Um, because I wanted it for things that were longer and would stay nice and flat. But... A corner is really useful. So I just stuck a piece of card on here. It's, it's cut accurately so that it is actually at right angles. And I've just stuck it in with tape so I can put my card in there. So if you do have a card that is something that you want to take out and put back in again to stamp in the same place, it's useful to have a corner. So that's why I did this. So these are just going to be sitting here for the moment while I arrange this. Have a fabulous day. I think that'll be okay like that. So I'll just take those out. And we just put some magnets on this. Don't know where the other one's gone. There should be another pink one somewhere. Could be anywhere. Well, there you go. Story of my life, isn't it really? Let's make sure that's not over the this bit. Right. Are we straight? I think so. Right, and I think I'm going to do this just in black because of the black of the 
um, the silhouettes. Have a fabulous day. Hope I'll be having some fabulous days in Lanzarote. Just do one more. That's what I have to tell you. I have to tell you, I didn't check with these lines, and it is not absolutely straight. Ah, I'll sort it. Maybe put a card panel on and then do it on top of that. Oh, stupid. Silly mistakes. So that, that's what my card is going to be when, I, when it's all dry and finished. Okay, have a fabulous day. And I hope you all have a fabulous day too. Thank you so much for watching.